Good day, everyone. My name is Hossein Kasmai. I'm the founder and CEO of Franchise Creator. Today, we're showcasing one of our unique clients in the field of healthcare. They provide services including cosmetic surgery, cosmetic enhancements, and a variety of medical spa products. Come explore this amazing opportunity with me. Welcome to Evolution MD. I'm here today with Dr. Cesar Velia, the founder and CEO of Evolution MD. He's also known as Dr. Lipo. So Dr. Velia, it's a pleasure to be with you here today. The pleasure is mine. Thank you very much. I do realize that you offer two different franchise models. You have a surgical model and you have a medical spa. And today we're talking about the surgical program of this particular brand. So tell me a little bit about uh, what Evolution MD is, the, this model, the surgical model, uh, how it works, what services do you guys offer, uh, so that the audience can better understand what this system is all about. So Evolution MD is uh, an institute uh, for cosmetic surgery. So we do here all range of cosmetic surgery, face surgery, nose surgery, eyelid surgery, breast surgery, reduction, augmentation, Anything that is currently approved in the United States to do as a cosmetic procedure, we do it here. Tell me a little bit about your background and, you know, so that the audience, the people that are interested in buying into this franchise can better understand who you are. I'm a doctor. I'm from Colombia. I'm an immigrant. I came 17 years ago uh, to the United States. Uh, I come from a family of entrepreneurs, but I was the first one to be a professional in my family. So I finished med school, I decided to come to the United States. Uh, I went to Chicago and I studied internal medicine in Chicago. Then I did a fellowship in cosmetic surgery and I studied plastic surgery in Brazil. And I started Evolution MD about 10 years ago. So the whole idea was to start a practice uh, focus on anti-aging. So the first concept was the med spa concept. So we start with uh, three employees, only a uh, front desk, uh, my wife and myself. And right now, after 10 years, we are about 94 employees with uh, almost uh, nine locations because we are opening another one. A lot of people think that they're getting into a, a cosmetic surgery, or you have to be a physician, or you have to be a surgeon, but when in reality, the system that you've built in most states, you could be a non-clinician and get into a business like this and start operating it by hiring the right physicians to work for you. Anyone, anyone in the United States can own a cosmetic surgery practice. You don't have to be a plastic surgeon to own a cosmetic surgery practice. So that's something really, really important and open a huge, huge door of possibilities. If you are an investor and you're looking to invest in the United States and you wanna create a business, you can have a business in the healthcare industry in cosmetic surgery which is one of the growing faster and better pay business in the healthcare. There is some states that regulate to be a doctor either as a medical director or to be the head of the operation. And we're gonna tell you which states are the ones who require that because not all the states in the United States have that requirements. A typical location that a franchisee can start with, how many square feet can that be? And do they start off with one or uh, two or three, or how many employees is a good number that for, they can, for them to start with? Okay, so everything depends of your projections and also of, your, uh, of, of, of the amount of money that you're willing to invest. You can go super big or you can go small. So everything is very relative. But the minimum that you need, let's say you wanna start with the minimum in a, to enter into the world of cosmetic surgery, opening only one operating room. So you will need one operating room and uh, two recovery beds. And of course, the rest of the logistic that is around the surgery, like an sterilization, a cleaning room, uh, supplies, some uh, post-surgical uh, rooms for follow-up and things like that. You can open a business like that only with about 1,600 square footage with the right layout, with the right distribution and the right architectonical design. With 15 to 1,600 square footage, you can have that location. Now, if you don't wanna have just one OR because one OR means maybe only one doctor working and maximum four, five surgeries a day, you wanna go big, you can go two ORs or three ORs, four ORs. What's the franchise fee? What's the royalty? 
So you have an initial investment for the franchise fee of $60,000, and then you have a royalty fee of 10% of uh, the revenue. That will give you access to use our brand, to use our name, and to have all our secrets and how we operate this company. Excellent. Well, let's take a walk and let's take a look, look at what the center looks like and so that the audience can see how simple the operation can be. Perfect. Let's right. go. Thank you, doctor. So here we are at the, at the surgical model. Uh, so tell me how it works. So this is the entrance, I assume? Correct. So this is the surgical suite. Okay. And uh, of course, you need to have a reception area. Mm -hmm. So we manage uh, grays and white colors. And um, so you need to have at least one receptionist because we have a large practice with five operating rooms, we managed to have two receptionists, but you can start with one receptionist. Uh, you need to have a TV or a video when we usually show all our marketing materials. We show our treatments, our special, our procedures, or you want you show TV, but our suggestion is to advertise the practice while the patients are waiting. This is the entrance mm -hmm. uh, of their suite. So once the patient check-in comes this way, okay. and then this is when the patient does the check-in. So you're gonna need a little space when the patients can check-in uh, before surgery. You, the patient signs their consent electronically. Perfect. Uh, again, in the system that we create that is part of the franchise system. Then you have a, a area when the patients change and leave their belongings. And once they're ready, when they're changed, when they're already signed on the paper, they're ready to go inside the surgery. Okay, so they wait here and somebody comes and gets them and they go to the next Exactly. Step. And now this is where the magic this starts. This is it, there you go, I like it. <laughs> so this is um, an operating area okay. for four ORs, four operating rooms. When you can do local anesthesia, you can do IV sedation, or you can do general anesthesia. Okay. So you can do everything in cosmetic surgery. So you have the recovery area uh -huh. that you optimize it and you use it before surgery as well as after surgery. Got it. So you are optimizing the space. So here we have our recovery area, which each of the units goes with the monitor to monitor each patient vital signs. So the patient goes here and wait first there. And once they're ready to go to surgery, they come into the operating room, right? So the typical surgery, the uh, uh, typical franchisee at this, at when they start off, what size uh, this room do you, do you anticipate it to be as many beds as you have here? Do you think they can start off a little bit smaller? Okay, so you can start, minimum of course is one operating room. So you need two recovery beds for operating room Got because it. you want to have one room before surgery and one room after surgery. So the minimum turnover is if you start with one OR that can do five, five surgeries a day, you need two. So the space that you will need is half or maybe three quarters of one quarter of this space, right? For that. So this is an operating room which is, uh, has the logistic to have up to general anesthesia. So in, uh, in the levels of anesthesia in the United States, you can do level one, two, or three, which is local anesthesia, that you don't need an anesthesiologist or anesthesia machine. You can do IV sedation, okay. that you only need a nurse, you don't need a machine. Okay. Or you can do general anesthesia, where you're completely out, that you need a machine, and an anesthesiologist or a CRNA, which is a nurse anesthetist, right? So depending on the level of complexity of the cases that you do, you can opt to have all of the above or one or two or three. So then how do you, you don't have obviously those people, a franchisee is not gonna have those people on staff, anesthesiologists. So they're gonna be hiring them for the day, pay them an hourly rate, or how does that work? Right, the model that, that we have uh, even our large scale is that we have uh, subcontractors. So you don't have to invest the money, pay a salary for a person to be there, Stop. even if you don't have mm -hmm. uh, cases. So uh, what you do is you pay per case. So if you have a case, you hire the people and you pay a percentage of the case. If you don't have a case, you don't have dispensers. And that's the model that we recommend of the franchises to do. A lot of doctors that they don't have this experience, 
they just go ahead and hire a nurse, hire an anesthesiologist, and they work to pay salaries. And at the end, they don't have any, any revenue. So these are the kind of things that we learn over the years and that we pass to the fran franchisees. Of so we have the anesthesia machine. So anesthesia, you need an anesthesia machine in the cases that you have to do general anesthesia. Mm -hmm. If you have an anesthesia machine, you also need a generator uh, as a backup in case the lights, the power goes out. Mm -hmm. And uh, by law, you have to have at least four hours enough of power like to finish the case. Got it. You need to have a surgical bed, which is very standard. You need to have this is, that is a, a mayo uh, table, which is very uh, uh, simple. You need to have good light in it. And again, we incorporate very nice you know, instead of their lighting it very small, you know, like those ugly big yeah. lights, you know, from hospitals. And believe it or not, these are the same price or even cheaper than those ugly big ones. Uh, and then if you do liposuction, you need, you know, liposuction machines, and we will give you in the franchise manual by detail everything that you need. So the only thing you need to know is how to read, <laughs> open the manual, and then you know you're gonna need this, you're gonna need that, you're gonna need this, etc. Including where they can buy these. Exactly, in, including prices. the including the suppliers with the good prices of course. that we learn over ten years. So you wanna have a cleaning and sterilization room uh, because of the large volume that we do. We have three machines, but when you start your practice, you start only with one. One machine, one machine is enough okay. uh, to clean your instruments. Again, we gave you all the contacts, all the vendors, all the suppliers, and uh, because, because we manage a large volume, of course, you're gonna get discounts and better prices when you get it through us. And um, very basic, you wanna have a sink, uh, and a dry area, a dirty area, a cleaning area, and all those things that it cost us thousands of dollars to learn. A lot of people um, giving you advice how to do it. Everything is gonna be in the manuals of the franchise. So you know what to do since the beginning. Uh, this is part of our system. This is part of our proprietary system that we create only for evolution in this. So this is exclusive for the franchises and for the franchisee. So here you can see whose patient is coming today, when the patient comes, when the patient are in surgery, when the patient leaves. So you have metrics of what's happening. If you are the owner and you are not in the practice, it doesn't matter. You can be in Dubai on the internet and you know what's happening in your business. So the only way I can control my eight clinics is through systems like this. So I can go in Brazil, I can be in Brazil, Russia, or whatever. I just take my phone, open the system, and I know what's going on. I know how many surgeries are happening, how many patients check in, how many patients check out, how much revenue I'm getting, if I'm getting patients or not, if the patients are wearing outside or not. So my, my employees think that I have eyes everywhere, <laughs> but I don't have eyes. I have good system to track accountability. And that's very important when you have a business. You need to track accountability. So going this way, uh, we're gonna have uh, the rooms when we see the patients after surgery. So this is one example of the typical room uh, that we see for the follow-up. So the basic stuff that you need to have in your room is uh, an examination table. Okay. And as you see, the whole concept of evolution, we pay attention to little details. So we have our logo incorporated everywhere because we work very hard on our branding. You take a look here at the wall. You're gonna see the logo. You take a look on the sanitizer. You're gonna see a logo. So we want to continue with that concept through all our uh, franchise. That's right. So uh, it's a very clean space. You know, very, very modern, very, very modern very space. Modern. And these, 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 these paintings give you that relaxing feeling. You're in here, calm down, relax. Correct. So in reality, if you measure the space, it's a very small space. It is. But with the decoration, it gives you the deep. It that really is does. that is a bigger space. It so really that, that's, I look at it, this looks probably like a ten by ten room. It's, it's, but it gives you the illusion that I mean, probably a fourteen by fourteen or something like it's, that. It's eight by ten. Is it eight by eight ten? Eight by ten. <laughs> but with the design, you it, it, it gives you the yeah. <laughs> it's, it it gives you the deep that you that you want. And uh, so this is a, it's a basic examination room, but with the, those little details, 
it makes it give you more more high level you know scale so we have uh, the background for before and before and after pictures really really important when you work in cosmetic surgery to have the before and after pictures so those are the details that we learn with time that are important going forward because uh, patients always want to see the result and the only way to show them the big, big difference is when you, sh you show them on the screen how they look before and how they look after. So you have bad before and after pictures, it's hard to show the patient their improvement. So this is part of the setup. This is very basic setup, but it's very important to have a nice background when the patients can stand you know, and take their pictures in different positions. So tell me about these uh, these paintings. I see these paintings all around your your office yeah. from the entrance to here. Right. So the idea behind the the concept of this was kind of try to recreate an art gallery in our clinic. So this gonna be available for the franchises and a very very affordable price. Uh, we have a direct contact with the manufacturer who does these pieces. It's a technique called sublimation. And the good thing about it is that we can have the same concepts with the whoever wants their own graphics. In other words, you are the new uh, franchisee and you have an image that you like. We can use the same image with the same technique and we continue having the same concept of the whole clinic. As long as that image is approved by you. Correct, exactly. That's very interesting. Dr. Valia, it's been a pleasure and an amazing opportunity having a walkthrough and learning about this uh, concept uh, for those people that are interested in buying into this franchise. So I'm very happy to open the doors of Evolution MD to all the public. I'm looking forward for all of you to be part of our Evolution MD family. For more information about this great concept, please reach us at uh, www.franchisecreator.com or go to info at, just send us an email at info at franchisecreator.com. And there's also their website. You can go directly to evolutionmd.com and learn more about this concept as well. Looking forward to seeing uh, you guys uh, joining this family. Thank you.